Hey, what's up, y'all? Well, it's definitely that time we're gonna do some maintenance to my pedal drive. Any of the propeller style drives are gonna be similar to what we're gonna do today. Uh, for sure, the native and the Hoodoo Tempest pedal drive uh, are basically the exact same thing. So the the native is built a little bit, little bit stronger. They got a little bit better parts in there. But uh, like I said, most of your drives, they're gonna be pretty similar. The tools you'll need to make this easier will be a spanner wrench, a pedal arm remover, a hammer, preferably rubber, some marine grease, and a couple of Allen wrenches. Not much, not much tools needed to do this job. First thing we'll do is take this bolt out with an Allen wrench and it's backwards threads on this side. We're going to take the pedals off in order to get to the gears on the top end. Then we'll take our pedal tool and the back end screws into that hole. What's wrong with some bitch? And we'll use the little wrench here to kind of just snug it a little bit. Now we have to tighten this and this is going to push on that inside screw and it'll pop our pedal, pedal off. It can be done without this tool but it's kind of a pain in the butt. Screw that in. Then we'll put the wrench on this part and start tightening and hang on to the pedal, the arm. And it popped loose already. So there's the pedal arm off. This little tool makes it a lot easier because when you tighten these pedals down, they end up pushing into place and getting, they're pretty hard to take off without, without this little tool. I'll put all these links down below if y'all wanna uh, get get any of these parts So that's that side. We'll go ahead and do the other the other arm So this side the right side the right pedal arm the threads are correct just like lefty loosey righty tighty But on the left arm they're backwards threads, so you got to go the opposite way They can be pretty snug. It's loosening already though. Okay, so there's that one. So we got both pedal arms off. Now we have to loosen this big silver piece. And you do that with the, the spanner wrench. You just put the little tabs in the holes on each side. So they're in the holes and then le lefty loosey on, on this on these. These are correct threads. So it is loose, but it's not all the way out. You have to loosen the other side. got a little rust going on in there somebody's been neglecting it <laughs> so these gears we're gonna clean out I'm gonna use a, a rag and then a brush you know like a wire brush would work but this is a pretty firm just a paintbrush that I had laying around and then the gears down inside we're gonna clean all that out too 
get it good and clean and wipe all that old grease off. So all that old stuff coming off, it's got quite a bit of rust on it. So my drive was making a little bit of different noises. So it is, it does have a lot of miles on it. And there's Leo, he likes being on YouTube. <laughs> so we're gonna wipe all of these gears off with the rag as best we can. And then we'll use that brush to try to clean in between the, the gears, you know? Doesn't have to be perfect, but we're gonna try to get as much of it out as we can with that brush. And then wipe the brush on, on the rag every so often. So we'll finish it up off camera so I can actually work on it. <laughs> And this piece had a bunch of old grease on it too, so we're going to wipe all that off. Whoa, and a bunch of grit. That was the grit noise right there that I was hearing. It sounded like I had sand in it or something, so. Right down on the inside, there's some grease holding up in there. I'm going to try to get that out with the brush and put it in the towel and just kind of get some of that stuff out like that so the bearing that this is a bearing right here it definitely looks pretty pretty shot i don't have that part so we're just doing maintenance for right now we're not going to replace anything but I will order, probably I'll try to order this whole thing so I don't have to change the bearings, you know, I'll just get, get the whole thing, but, but inspect that, and as I turn the bearing, I can feel <laughs> that it's pretty worn out, so. So now we're gonna wipe off this inside like we talked about. Just getting off all the, the old grease and the, the threads that, that I'm getting the grease into. thing on the other side and I got some water in here man <laughs> yeah we got too many miles on it can y'all see that water right in there <laughs> it wasn't that much it may have just been right there at the top <laughs> I do have a brand new drive but <laughs> I want to see if I can get some more miles out of this one. This probably, of course, should have been done a lot sooner. How soon? Well, I did one on, on my other kayak that I've had for the same length of time, but I don't use it near as much. I took it apart and it didn't look like it needed anything. So, but this is my, my personal kayak. And I get, I use it five or six days a week, so. I ordered that extra drive just in case something happens. I mean, I figure six, seven hundred miles I've done on this drive. I'm, I'm okay with replacing it for 500 bucks if I have to, but we're gonna try to just do the basic maintenance. This is gonna, sh this is gonna show y'all what to do and to do it more often than I do. So we'll clean this brush pretty good with a rag and then we'll get our marine grease put some on that brush and just dab it in dab it in on those gears and spin the propeller around we're going to also grease those other gears so we're basically double greasing it
So that's gonna do it right there. So what is the proper amount of time to be doing this? Uh, if you if you fish, <laughs> it depends on how often you fish. I would say about every 30 trips, you know, check the, check it out. At least open it up and look at the gears and see. Cause like I said, my other one that I hadn't used a whole bunch, but it has been used quite a bit. It uh, the grease looked brand new inside of it. It was real. It was still white in color and. It just didn't need anything done. So we'll slide this back in place. might have to spin the propeller around a little bit to get these to thread all the way in by hand if there was a gap I had I had a gap right in here and uh, and I couldn't tighten it anymore until I started turning that propeller so I'm spinning those gears a little bit notice the propeller is spinning so So we got them snug by hand. All of them feel feel good, and then we'll just snug it with the the chingalera here. <laughs> Okay, so they're snug pretty good. So your pedaled, your pedal arms, let me see if I can find it, is labeled R and L. So right and left, and it matters which one you put back on there. So looking at the drive like this, this would be your left side, and that would be your right side over there. Pop this back on, give it a couple taps. Gently with the hammer. And then we'll put our screw back in. Pretty snug. It's still kind of uh, it's pushing that arm on to that little. It's pushing it into place. That's pretty good. And then of course the left one, we want it to be straight up and down from this other one, so they're in in line. There he is. <clears throat> They are knocking the hell out of that freaking top water, dude. They are not messing around. Get out of the anchor. Oh, he went right in the anchor. <laughs> I got him out. <clears throat> Golly, dude, they're all like 24 inches. So another thing with these pedals, 
you can take a wrench and make sure that these are snug and you should always check these if they start to back out a little bit they and you're pedaling it will break and shear off i've uh, heard of a couple people having that issue so that's that part now we got to do the lower the lower gears so on the propeller we just take an allen wrench and loosen that and then the propeller will just pop off like that we can go ahead and slide this pin out for right now we'll take our spanner tool and see if we can loosen it with the spanner tool i did it with some different tools last time we kind of rednecked it but yeah the spanner wrench fits in there so we'll just loosen that this one's never been taken apart so <laughs> And you got some gears right there that are pretty dry. All the grease has kind of went to the, the tip and the back. And you have some gears way down in there that we'll try to we'll try to at least put some grease on it. This grease actually still looks pretty good. It's still white and clean. So we're just gonna kind of clean that up and put some more grease on it. Now for the stuff way down in there. I'm just going to grease it. It looks pretty good. I'm spinning the pedals and looking at it. We'll just put some grease down in there. On that gear that's in there. That's hard to see, especially when I'm in the freaking light. So I'm just putting the grease on the gears and then spinning the, the pedals. This little brush is working pretty good. A little paintbrush that I paint lures with. And that'll work. So we got it greased. Throw away the brush. <laughs> so we'll slide that piece back in there. And spin the gears a little bit as we slowly tighten it. We're spinning the pedals real slow make sure once it tightens those gears are in place you can see the the shaft turning so so we're good it's getting down to the end and it's spinning so put that pin back in place it's, there's a little hole on the shaft you just slide it I'll get some of that braided line out of there while you're at it <laughs> slide it through there and then the propeller has two notches and that pin has to go right in those notches so we're kind of estimating where the notches are and we can spin the oh i got it on the first shot <laughs> i think let's see yeah and then we'll put the screw back in and i just do it as tight as i can with this little bitty allen wrench i don't well not as tight as i can but pretty dang snug with that little bitty Allen wrench. It doesn't, it won't, I haven't ever had one come off and I don't, like I said, I don't main, maintain them as often as I should. Another thing you can do is go through and check all of these bolts. These, these bolt, any bolts you see on this drive, just go through and make sure they're snug everywhere on the drive so yeah that's it i just need to order some new bearings that go right there and where the pedal arm shaft goes through and 
it should be uh, should be good to go for a little while longer. I hope the video helped uh, on how to do just the basic maintenance of a pedal drive. Thanks for watching and tight lines, y'all. Oh, there you go. Fishy, fishy work. Oh, what is this? Oh my goodness. It's a big ass trout. I thought it was that flash it made. I'm talking about big trout, dude. Golly, man. <laughs> Son of a gun.